Hello and welcome to the Property Management Masterclass, a six-part podcast series brought to you by Holiday Cottage Handbook and your air host. My name's James Farley, the founder of Holiday Cottage Handbook, and our goal is to explain everything you need to know about effective short-term rental hosting and management. Over the course of this series, we'll cover all the basics and share actionable tips to help you build a sustainable business and deliver an outstanding guest experience. In this third episode, we'll discuss the essential amenities for short-term rental properties. Now, before we jump into our conversation with Stefan from Your Air Host, I want to share some exciting news. On November the 8th, we are hosting a free educational event in London aimed at short-term rental hosts and property managers. The event will feature panel sessions, seminars, and exhibitors from the industry, and it will be a fantastic opportunity to learn, network, and grow your short-term rental business. Places are limited, so be sure to register today at holidaycottagehandbook.com forward slash your air host. And if you're interested in exhibiting at the event, please reach out to me directly over email, james at holidaycottagehandbook.com. Hope to see you there. Thank you for joining us for episode three of the Property Management Masterclass brought to you by Holiday Cottage Handbook and your air host. It's time now to introduce our special guest, the man who has been there and done it in the short-term rentals world. Stefan Hoffelner is the CEO and co-founder of Your Air Host, which is the leading STR management company in London. Good to see you, Stefan. How's it going? Yeah, nice to see you, James. It's a pleasure to be here and, and thanks very much for having us on the podcast. It is our pleasure. All right, then. Lots of education to share. Today, we're going to discuss the essential and desirable amenities that will help your rental to stand out to guests across the globe. Let's start with the really essential amenities. What do you need to have at your property? Uh, Wi-Fi is a really important one. Um, we've touched on that already, and I know it's um, it's something that we've spoken about before. But look, you know, it's 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 imperative to have. Make sure there's Wi-Fi. Make sure there's a TV. Make sure that there's um, you know access to Netflix, um, Amazon Prime, um, all the sort of various different streaming um, outfits that they have. Make sure that a guest can log on to their own um, Netflix account. Um, and make sure that there is a strong Wi-Fi. We've covered that um, before. Also, as well, another great one is make sure that you've got good linen in the property. You don't want to kind of invest in a great bed, invest in a great mattress, and then um, you know put cheap linen on top of that just to to save a few pounds at the end. Make sure that the linen is um, quality linen. You know, at your air host, we make sure that we have sort of hotel, you know, five star quality linen in the property. It's so important for a good night's sleep. Uh, it, the difference is chalk and cheese between cheap and, and decent linen. Um, and it will definitely be reflected in the reviews of your guests. So, you know, linen is another really important one. Also, as well, make sure that the guest has got some some nice comfy towels as well. Um, you know, it, they've traveled a long way. They've uh, just come off a plane. Um they get in in the bath in the shower and if they've got a towel that scratches their skin it's 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 not so pleasant and, and doesn't really reflect well um for the amount of money that's required to invest in some decent towels and some decent linen um and and how long they're going to last in the property um it's going to be worth its weight in gold if you you start cutting corners there and putting cheap um towels and linen in by the the time the third guest has used them they were bad at the start they're even worse now so um those are some 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 important kind of amenities there You've got the other small ones as well, and coffee machines, making sure tea's there. You know, in 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 your house, we like to put a small jug of milk in there so that the guests, when they um when they come into the property, they can uh, have a nice um uh, you know a, a nice cup of tea, um and also as well that they have a nice welcome gift um just to you know make them make their make their the the face smile. I know that's not an amenity as such, but it all kind of plays into the same, um, you know, the, the, the same thing. But with the amenities as well, a, a, a work from home space um, since COVID, um, it'll be something that you know somebody who's looking for a longer stay as well. You know, anybody that's that's kind of working in the area um, will look for and will tick that box and. You know, you can you can rest assured that if you don't advertise that you have these spaces and don't tick the correct boxes on the platforms, as soon as somebody's searching for that, that's an important thing for them. If they tick that box, you're not going to show for it. So the work from home from space is another one which has become really important uh, since since COVID. I'm thinking about the kitchen as well. Those extra things that you need just to keep the kitchen running. It might be foil 
or pods for the dishwasher or your washing machine, some cooking oil, salt and pepper. How important is it to keep these things stocked, ready for every guest? Yeah, at Eurohost, we put together a complete checklist of everything that's on there. And, you know, really, you can imagine you've checked into a short term rental, uh, you've had a, a stressful day getting there, you know, a long day traveling, you've gone and you've got yourself a bottle of wine, you come back to the, um, you know, the apartment, and you look for the corkscrew. And all of a sudden, there's, you know, there's no corkscrew in there. So really thinking about it and thinking about from the guest journey, you know, what, what are they going to want? And the good thing about those kind of things, you know, your, your cheese grater, your corkscrew, your, your, your good set of pots and pans and that, it can be, you know, relatively inexpensive to make sure that it's well equipped. And you might even have two or three in your own house that you can pull out and and, and, and put in the property. Um, so have a little think about all of those things, you know, the ones that you just mentioned as well. Make sure that there's enough uh, dishwasher soap in there. Make sure that there's enough hand soap in there and make sure that there's enough that the guests can replace it as well. Somebody books your apartment for a month. You know, it's 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 the kind thing to do to make sure that there's enough hand soap in there um, that they can wash their hands every time they use the, the bathroom or the kitchen. Yeah, absolutely. It is it's so important to have all those things uh, ready. And one way you can find out that if you've got everything you'll need is by actually staying in the property yourself. You know, I've, I've found this a few times, especially with, with the kitchen or it might be something in the bathroom. If you stay there for a night, you'll discover exactly what you need to dis- to deliver that great guest experience. It's one of the most important things, I think, with running a short term rental is that before you think that you're ready for it, I would recommend, you know, not only staying in the property yourself, but having friends and family come and use it as well as a tester. Um, You know, you'll get some good feedback from them and, and you'll get some honest feedback from them. And you can really use that as a marker of the guest journey because you know how to use the lockbox and you know what you're looking for. Or, or you know where the, the foil is in the kitchen, you know, try and also get somebody that doesn't know to come in there so that you can see how their journey was as well um, and that they could use all of your amenities as well, that they could log on to the Wi-Fi, that they could log on to the Netflix. You, you might know that it's, a you know, you need to sometimes on, on the TVs push source and it can be on source one, two or three. And because you know that it's very easy for yourself to find. But if you get somebody that doesn't know it, that's a really also a good indicator of whether they could use all the amenities in your flat or, or house. Now, you're a host, of course, based in London, so you're managing uh, rentals in the capital. What are the most desirable amenities that your guests want from the properties they're staying at in London? Parking's a massive one. So if you've got parking in London, that really sets you apart from everyone. I'm sure we've, you know, everyone's gone down to London at some point um, during their lives and parking is a real pain here. So if you've got parking, shout as loudly as you can about it. It will really set your listing apart from from uh, from from most of the others down here. You know, as um, we were saying sort of earlier, if you're in the Yorkshire Dales and you're in prime dog walking territory making sure that you're you know catering for dogs and that you've got a, a nice dog bowl and some nice treats for them um whatever it is that's that's sort of applicable to your area making sure that you're shouting and singing about those and also making sure that the amenities work so if you're listing a coffee machine on your um, on your listing making sure that that works for guests that come on there those are the really important points that, that you know not only do you want to be singing about them and, and and shouting about them but you also want to be making sure that they work and that they're fit for purpose another amenity that people talk about a lot is hot tubs of course and it depends on your your property and your location and something that's becoming more and more popular you mentioned the parking space if you can go one step further and have an ev charger that will help you to appeal to to even more guests yeah absolutely um you know hot tubs um are one of the most requested amenities um for holiday stays so if you can put one in your your um your holiday home your your apartment um it's going to make you stand out and it's it's going to benefit you financially in the long run so well worth investing in one um obviously in london you can't create a, a parking space for yourself um but what you can do is is clearly list where that near nearest amenity is um, and how much that costs so being as helpful as you can be um and then you know making sure that you have the correct 
amenities for the target market that you're trying to um, you know get into your property um, it's um, it's it's worth its weight in gold spending some time thinking about them and investing in the correct um, amenities that are for your target market and and you know you know applicable to your your, your area um, the, you know those those ticking those boxes will help increase the performance of your listing um, and, and will ultimately, you know, make the profitability of the exercise um, better for yourself. Let's have a think about the luxury section for a moment, because you've got high end rentals on your books. So what are the amenities that might appeal to those uh, more affluent guests? Making sure that you're available for, for them. You know, if uh, guests want to uh, the higher end guests want that port of contact to speak to you so we will allocate you know a dedicated person to um, each of the higher end rentals for their stays just for somebody to be available if they need anything um, that they can you know go to the property that they can help out if uh, a guest can't use the tv or so on and so forth that we actually you know not only can send them instructions on how to use it um, but that we can send somebody to the property and then in those higher end properties it's even more important to have the correct you know linen towels the the correct feeling of all of the the products in there branded all the way through that it all feels you know synced in that the guest experience all kind of sings from the same hymn sheet um but often you know in london you're not going to be able to put amenities in 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 properties because of buildings you know you can't put a hot tub in every apartment so just make sure that you advertise what it is that you have make sure that it works and and make sure that you communicate how to use it clearly to your guests i would say you know those would be the most important things that you could do um easily now talk to us about upselling um what exactly is it and how can you utilize upselling to make a bit more profit for your business so in short, upselling is selling something additional to your guests. So, you know, whether that be an early check in, a late checkout, a bottle of champagne on arrival, whatever it may be. Now, the, I think the most helpful thing that I can sort of interject here is that not guests don't like being sold to at every turn, every every corner that they turn. Um, so, so take it with a you know a pinch of salt. Yes, you want to upsell certain things and certain facilities that you may have, um, it, you know, in the nearby area. You can team up with local businesses, so on and so forth, and you can you know offer them a discount on uh, on a, on a, a sort of local meal or something like that. Um, but be really careful not to sort of hold up a, a sales pitch at every corner to your guests. The most important thing in short term rentals, and I've said this time and time again on this podcast, is getting a good review from your guests. And ultimately, that's what's going to bring you back the most money. So be careful about, you know, a guest asks for an extra pillow, charging him for that pillow. You know, that's an opportunity to upsell it. it. It absolutely is. I can charge you, I can offer you a cost for the pillow. But is it counterintuitive? I might have made a five pound profit on the pillow, but I get a bad review from the guest because he didn't like that experience. So although it's painful at certain points because you're providing additional things and you know that's that's ultimately eating into your profit, try and think of the longer term picture and, and the profitability of the exercise over the course of the year. Um, and if that means you know going the, the extra mile for your guests, I would suggest that that's more beneficial than um than than kind of upselling in every you know every corner but there are things that you can do you know you can offer additional cleaning during the stay that's not unreasonable to charge for that's a good one to upsell for you can offer um champagne drinks on arrival whatever they whatever the guests might like we put together a small list um and we actually used to team up with a a company that would offer all sorts of things. Um, they would offer, you know, if a guest wanted exercise equipment in the property during their stay, whatever it was, and you can put together a small list where people can click on it and then order it directly and you get a referral fee from those companies. So those are great things to integrate into your house manuals, really easy to do. But I would just, you know, the most important point I could make there to anyone kind of embarking on this journey and people starting out on the journey is just be careful at where you draw the line because the the good review, the five-star review at the end of the stay has got to be the priority. 
and making a few more pounds during the stay may be counterintuitive if you if it's too pushy. Um, so draw the line really carefully and um, you know think about your guests and what makes the most pleasant experience overall for them. And I would say that that should be in the driving seat as opposed to um, you know selling the pillow when you're asked for it. To use that um, to use that example. Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, I think the easiest one to look at this is with the early check-ins and the late checkouts. I mean, if if somebody approaches me and says, "Can I check in an hour early?" and the property's ready, like, yeah, of course, I go, go ahead. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more, James. It's uh, it's it's you know, it's just that journey. They may have come off a long flight. They may have their bags with them. Um, and just being nice and not saying, yeah, pay me an extra £25 to, to use the property for an extra hour. It starts the journey off on the right foot. Um, and, you know, you want as many as many things in your corner fighting for you for that five star review as you possibly can. So, you know, just be very delicate with it. It's great to upsell and it. It looks great on the, you know, I made a, made an extra sale here, but the the main goal is that review that will bring you more money back i can i can guarantee it all right that's just about it for episode three of the property management masterclass in episode four we'll be focusing on guest communication catch the episode on our website's youtube channel or your favorite podcast platform and if you'd like to meet us both in person make sure you join us for our free educational event for short-term rental hosts and property managers in london on november the 8th places are limited head to holidaycottagehandbook.com forward slash your air host to register. For more free education tips and trends from the STR industry, head to holidaycottagehandbook.com where you can sign up for our newsletter, listen to our podcast series and download a free ebook for hosts and property managers. And if you have rentals in London which require expert management, make sure you get in touch with Stefan and his team. Head to yourairhost.co.uk for details or call 0203 280 2975 or email hello at yourairhost.co.uk. That's it for episode three. We'll see you soon.